Hi, good afternoon. This is Meredith Leo, and I'm doing a series of videos on channeled teachings from Ascended Master Hilarion. And Hilarion is basically a um, being who at one point um, lived like we do, but has ascended past the point of needing to uh, reincarnate again and again. Um, and uh, so I'm learning from him about sort of how to do that or I have been learning from him. And um, I, what I'm doing is basically uh, through a, a series of videos, basically reading content that I channeled over several years. Um, and I'm not now just sharing them in video form. Um, I've touched upon subjects of quantum, um, the quantum field or the source field, about mirroring, I'm getting into concepts of polarity. Um, I actually did uh, find another passage that had to do more with time and timelines, um, which was more uh, in the quantum area, and I wanted to actually share this one. So it was actually a question that one of my daughters um, wanted me to ask. Um, so here it goes, and it has to do with time. But um, the question is, if all time is now, are all souls living their lives now? Um, so it, at some point, um, I think in the concept of timelines, I'm not sure with the video I've already done, um, we kind of basically learn that, that literally all time is going on right now. So we kind of live in a quantum field with all sorts of timeline possibility and probabilities. Um, and with every sort of now moment, we're sort of in a still shot of time. And based upon our sort of thoughts, intentions, or actions, we can literally go into multiple different directions. And um, with the next direction, it creates a certain higher probability for going to the next direction down that particular timeline. But this question was, look, if all time is now, are we literally living in all times now? <clears throat> so the answer was quite simply, yes. Time is an illusion and souls or source experience in, in the now moment. So time is an illusion and souls experience in the now moment. In lower dimensions, souls slow down the frames of time from one now moment to the next now moment to allow more time for processing information and lessons. This is the illusion of time. <clears throat> so essentially, um, you know, there are, there are many different um, levels of consciousness dimensions. And um, we happen to uh, mostly be operating in um, sort of a lower vibrational frequency uh, dimension right now. And we've chosen that because with every sort of um, um, experience that we have, um, we're essentially slowing down time so that as we have a thought and an intention that eventually manifests into physical reality. And I talk about that with the previous videos of how that happens. <clears throat> um, we, we, we have a thought, we can literally manifest our thoughts into um, the world that we see around us. And um, we haven't totally as a species learned to master our thoughts in a constructive way, <laughs> let's say. So, what we've done in this lower dimension that we're in is that um, our thoughts sort of manifest more slowly so that we have the ability to sort of process and learn from our thoughts and our intentions. So I think in the previous video I used an example. Let's say I had a thought right now of sort of a gorilla running around with a, a chainsaw. Um, <clears throat> in higher dimensions, you have the ability to literally manifest that in the moment. And, um, you know, obviously I don't think anybody around me, including myself, would want to manifest a gorilla with a chainsaw right now. Um, that kind of creates, could create havoc and chaos, especially for others around me. So um, right now we're sort of in this safe play zone, if you will, where our thoughts, um, let's say, are sort of um, manifested farther out into reality. Um, and through that, we have the ability to learn and sort of process our lessons. Um, he goes on to say that in addition, souls have the ability to love into the past events or into a past event and change the current now. This can be done uh, through simp uh, a simple, uh, this can be done simply 
through a technique in which a soul revisits an event in their mind's eye and imagines another outcome. That has a transmuting effect on the soul energy experience and memory. Um, so <clears throat> let's say you have an experience that, um, or a memory or experience from your past that, uh, let's say wasn't a pleasant one. Um, you have the ability to sort of see that event play out in your mind's eye with a different outcome. You actually have the ability to sort of transmute the energy signature associated with that um, memory um, because essentially uh, emotions and thoughts are actually energy. Um, they, they don't, they sort of just, you don't think them and they go anywhere. They actually go out with energy and um, emotions that you have can actually uh, create energy that builds up in your electromagnetic field. And so if you um, have sort of a bad energy and you're constantly stewing on it, let's say you're depressed or angry or um, whatever about a past event, <clears throat> if you don't sort of process that and sort of let go of that energy, it could be kind of sitting out there in your electromagnetic field, creating dis-ease in your life, but then over time can actually create physical disease in your body um, because that vibrational rate of that energy in your field will actually alter and change through a resonance effect the vibrational rate of the um, organs in your body. So what he's saying is that um, essentially you can think of a different outcome and over time sort of start to transmute your feelings about that event, thereby transmuting um, the a kind of etheric blueprint um, and the physical um, construction of your body. Um, then he goes on to say that your physical being feels a reality of time because the mind gives it time and physical manifestation. First, time, <clears throat> in the sense of minutes and hours, is literally man-made. Like, yes, we as, you know, human beings created time. The animals and the minerals do not know time. They are the best at living from moment to moment. Even your babies and small children live this way. Second, the physical world is also only an illusion. It is an energy wave vibrating at a certain frequency. If you close your eye, the physical reality does not exist. So in the moment, <clears throat> a soul can move from frame to frame in any time space simply by changing the reality of the mind's eye and jumping to another timeline in that next frame in the now moment. And this um, connects to the video that I did on timelines. Um, so uh, we kind of live in this quantum field with um, all time now and through your thoughts, your intentions and the vibrational frequency that you create, it creates sort of a certain spin in the um, electrons around your, within your atoms. You can kind of like quantum jump, if you will, from different timelines um, based upon that. So you do have really the ability to sort of um, control your reality, if you will, and your destiny just simply by changing your thoughts and your vibrational frequency to what you're trying to match to. Um, so. This is a, you know, a little bit more cryptic, I guess you could say, but um, I thought it was uh, pretty interesting and wanted to share it. Um, if you like the content in this video, I encourage you to give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much. Bye.